we can discuss about the production of enzyme amylase in this video. So let's start with the introduction to amylase. As we all know, these are a class of enzyme that specifically split or hydrolyze starch. And there are different types of amylase, alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha amylase are extracellular enzyme which will specifically hydrolyze internal alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond and these are mainly found in animal kingdom. And beta amylase are exohydrolase enzyme act on beta 1,4 glycosidic bond on non-reducing end of polysaccharide and these are mainly found in plant kingdom and gamma amylase will cleave alpha 1,6 alpha as well as alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. Now there are two methods for the production of amylase. First one is fermentative method and second one is recombinant DNA method. Let us discuss one by one. First one is method one, fermentative production of amylase. And this method involves four step selection of microorganism which is suitable for the production of amylase. Formulation of culture media which uh, require the essential uh, nutrients for the production of amylase and production process with the suitable temperature, pH and condition and finally the recovery and purification of enzyme. So first step is selection of microorganism and the criteria for selection of microorganism is based on the maximum quantity of desired enzyme or uh, the property of organism or capability of microorganism that produce maximum quantity of desired enzyme in short time and minimum amount of other metabolites produced. And the important microorganism which are used for the production of amylase are Aspergillus aureus for fungal amylase and this is done by solid substrate fermentation method. Aspergillus nigra for fungal amylase by same solid substrate fermentation method and Bacillus subtilis for bacterial amylase done by SSF and Bacillus lysiniformis, Bacillus amylolucifacins. And after selecting the microorganism, we can improve the strain by appropriate method like by using mutagens or by using UV rays. So once the strain, improved strain of microorganism is selected, we have to prepare the inoculum before going to the production process in a liquid media. Now coming to the second step, formulation of media. The formulation of media is very very important since the media should contain all the nutrients to support adequate growth of microorganism and the, all the media and the constituents should be readily available at low cost and are nutritionally safe for the bacteria or the microorganism. And the carbon source which are used for the production of amylase are maltose, sucrose and glucose. Nitrogen sources like inorganic nitrogen, sources of ammonium sulphate, uh, then ammonium chloride and ammonium hydrogen phosphate and sodium citrate. And commonly used other substrates are starch hydrolyze, molasses, corn steep liquor, peptone, yeast extract, whey and soya meal and malt. Some cereals or wheat and pulse also been used for the preparation or formulation of media. And this is an ideal media for an uh, a bacillus species containing bacteriological peptone 6 gram and magnesium sulphate 0.5 gram, potassium chloride 0.5 gram, starch 10 gram and we have to adjust pH to 7 and we have to make up uh, the medium with the distilled water up to 100 ml. So this is the formula for 100 ml of culture media. Now coming to the production process, alpha amylase is produced by fermentation process which is mainly carried out by submerged liquid in which the yield is more and chance of infection is less when compared with the solid substrate fermentation. 
and before starting the fermentation products we have to sterilize the culture media by batch or continuous sterilization technique and the fermentation will start by inoculating with the medium that we had prepared in liquid media and we have to perform this fermentation process at an pH of 5 to 7 and temperature of 25 to 30 degree Celsius with an initial moisture content of 55 to 90 percentage and it may vary with the different microorganism and sufficient oxygen supply and nutrition addition are maintained at optimum level. Usually production is carried out by batch fermentation that means after completing one batch we will start next batch like that and duration of this fermentation process is usually 3 to 7 days. So that is all about the production process. Now this is an pictorial representation of production process. First we have to preserve the inoculum and we have to prepare the inoculum, we have to develop and we will uh, prepare this and then seed tank for uh, multiplying the inoculation. Then we will take the culture media in fermenter and then to the culture media we will add the inoculum. So after 5 to 7 days we will have to disrupt the cell then we have to filter to remove cell debris then from that we have to remove the nucleic acid then after by salt treatment uh, we can precipitate the enzyme and we have to store in a cool place then again filtration and final purification by chromatographic method and usually enzymes are stored by freeze drying method as a enzyme powders. So, Coming to the last step recovery and purification of enzyme first we have to remove the debris by filtration and centrifugation then removal of nucleic acid by precipitation uh, or by adding po by adding polycations like polyamine streptomycin and polyethylamine then enzyme precipitation by using salt like ammonium sulfate and organic solvent like isopropanolol and ethanol and acetone. And after precipitating uh, we have to concentrate this uh, solution of uh, enzyme by liquid liquid partition by using polyethylene glycol or polyamine. Then from this uh, we will get a mixture of alpha, beta or gamma uh, amylase. So in order to separate that one we have to perform a separation chromatography by either ion exchange or size exclusion, affinity, hydrophobic interaction or any kind of uh, chromatographic method and finally we have to dry it and pack it in a uh, film evaporator or by freeze dry and then enzyme stability can be achieved by keeping in them in an ammonium sulfate suspension. So that is all about the production of uh, amylase by fermentative method. Now coming to the second method that is the production of recombinant amylase by using recombinant DNA technology and the different steps involved in the recombinant uh, uh, amylase productions are first we have to select an efficient alpha amylase gene. Then we have to insert the selected alpha amylase gene in an, to have an appropriate vector. Then the uh, recombinant vector has to be transformed into a bacterial system to produce high amount of recombinant protein and finally uh, after the expression of the uh, bacterial cell we have to purify the protein for downstream application. Now this is the pictorial representation of uh, production of recombinant amylase. First we have to uh, select a double standard plasmid DNA express vector. Then we have to cut uh, this vector by using a restriction endonuclease enzyme and we have to insert the code which represent the uh, represent for the production of uh, alpha amylase enzyme uh, by, uh, and we have to cut this in uh, uh, the gene from the appropriate or uh, bacteria and we have to insert into the vector to get a recombinant vector and this will be introduced into an uh, bacterial cell and we will culture this bacterial cell in an, an appropriate culture media to get the uh, efficient uh, amount of gene expression as alpha amylase. Now coming to the detailed step of production of recombinant amylase, first we have to delete uh, or we have to cut the MER which is the code 
uh, which will represent the uh, enzyme alpha amylase in Aspergillus niger or we have to uh, select the alpha amylase gene from pyrococcus furisosus and we have to insert uh, that gene into an uh, vector and we have to insert that into another organism bacillus amylo, uh, amylolicofacins and this extracellular thermostable enzyme uh, is produced in low amount in bacillus uh, furisosus but the expression of beta amylolicofacins is significantly increased and had good stability at higher temperature up to 100 degree celsius and up to a lower pH of pH 5. So, by mimicking the pyrococcus furisus system, they obtain the novel amylase with yield of uh, 300 times or 14 fold higher amylase unit per ml than the produced by bacillus subtilis or E. coli respectively. So, these are the uh, fold, uh, this much fold of uh, alpha amylase will be produced by this recombinant vector or recombinant method in um, pyrococcus furisus and uh, we can improve the uh, modify we can improve or we can modify the gene of alpha amylase by different method like uh, by using nitrous acid or ethyl methane sulfonate uh, which is usually used for the genetic manipulation of the bacterial strain like bacillus amylococcus and it will give approximately 1.4 times greater than the parent strains of bacillus amylokins. And uh, alpha amylase production of bacillus subtilis can be improved by treating with N-methyl N-nitro N-nitrose guanin and it will increase a threefold increase in the production of enzyme when compared with the parent strains. So, uh, that is all about the production of recombinant amylase by recombinant DNA technology. Now coming to the uh, applications of amylase, what are the applications? It is mainly used for the production of sweet, sweeteners for the food, in, food industry like uh, glucose syrup, uh, high mannose sugar, high fructose syrup etc. And it is also used in bakery industry uh, like uh, bread baking and it is used in detergent industry for dishwashing as well as laundry to remove the uh, starch material. And it is used in desizing of textiles. Usually, starch is used as an sizing materials in order to get to strengthen the or in order to strengthen the fiber, uh, fibers. So, uh, to remove this starch, we can use this uh, this amylase in desizing in uh, textiles. And also, uh, it is used in paper industry to remove the sizing agent like starch, which are used to get better smoothness, writing, and erasability for the paper and also used in fuel alcohol production uh, by hydrolyzing starch into fermentable sugar and finally the fermentable sugar is converted to the alcohol. So, uh, we can use the alpha amylase for the production of alcohol also and uh, also it is used in uh, production of dextrin for short chain polymer and dextrin are produced by hydrolysis of starch with alpha amylases. So, these are the applications of alpha amylases. So, that is all about the introduction, methods of production and applications of alpha amylase or amylase. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.